Hi guys, welcome to my channel Canada PR Dream and my name is Jigar Upadhyay. Today I will talk about the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program for the Brandon community. As you are aware, Brandon is one of the 11 community who is participating in this program. If you don't know anything about the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program, then please watch my video I made specifically for Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. If this is the first time you are tuning into my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel so you can get more video and the information about the Canadian immigration. So now, finally, Brandon has announced the community criteria by which you can move permanently to Brandon, Manitoba. If you don't know anything about the Brandon, let me just give you some brief info about the Brandon. Brandon is the second largest city in Manitoba. Uh, it's located about two and two and a half hour drive from Winnipeg, about 215 kilometers away from Winnipeg. It has the population of about 49,000 people. So now let's check out the community criteria for the Brandon and how you can move to Brandon as a permanent resident. So when we talk about the community criteria for the Brandon, the first step you need to follow is to create the profile in Brandon. Uh, I will provide the link where you can create the profile in the video descriptions of this video. Once you create the profile, you need to provide your ILTS score, your passport details, your proof of fund, your ECA, your education credentials, those info and most important, your resume. You need to make sure when you submit all this information, the resume has to be a Canadian style. Uh, I have provided the link for the Canadian style uh, resume uh, in my video description. So you can check that out. What should be included into your Canadian resume? First, it should include your full name, your contact details, your email ID, uh, how they can reach you. You need to include that one. Apart from that, you need to include your education history, your professional history, that's your experience. Uh, you need to uh, include those one. What are your job duties for your, uh, your designations, which you are currently performing? You need to mention all those things. Another important thing which you need to mention in your resume is references uh, for your work. If you have three references, you can include those one. And whenever you are including the references, you need to make sure you include the full name of your reference, referee, uh, their designations, uh, whether they are supervisor or whether they are the director, whether they are the HR and their contact details, your email ID, their phone number, you should include those things. So make sure you submit resume according to the Canadian style. So now you have the resume ready, you have the profile ready. Now what you need to do is to apply for the job. So once you apply for the job, Economic Development Brandon will receive that uh, your applications for particular job. And when they receive it, they will screen it and they will send it to the employer who has posted the job. So that means you cannot apply for the random job. You need to make sure you apply for the job which are available on their website. Uh, you cannot just uh, find the job on the job bank and apply for the Brandon. You need to make sure you apply for the job which are available only on their website. Once you apply for that job, your resume will be forwarded to the employer uh, after screening your resume uh, depending, your, depending on your skills, your experience. So you need to make sure you make resume according to Canadian style and provide as much information which you can provide. So once you apply for the job, uh, then it goes to the further process, which is called a screening process. Once they uh, receive your resume, they will screen your resume according to their requirement uh, based on your education and experience. Once they do that one, that means you will get the, once you get qualified to that stage, you will get the job offer on the IAM 5984. That's a job offer, uh, the qualifying job offer from the employer, which will help you to apply further for the community recommendations now you got your job offer uh, from the employer what you need to do is to apply for the recommendations by via form 5911 that's the form which you need to use in order to apply for the community recommendations once you send the documentations uh, for the edb that's economic development of brandon then they will review for the review and they will see whether they should uh, give you the recommendation later or not. That means they will ask you to provide more documentations uh, according to the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program and they will do the interview for you. So ma making sure that you have the desire to stay in that community because that's the main point of this program is to 
make sure the skilled worker stays into the rural community so once you get the recommendations uh the, the job offer from your employer the further process will be the interview by the brandon brandon uh, community like it's economic development of brandon that's the board that's a committee which will take an interview on the form of video conferencing making sure you are fit candidate for the uh, the co community which uh, they are looking for further step is once they receive your applications and once they uh, receive that after the interview uh, three things can happen first is they will approve your applications and so you can apply for the PR they can put a hold on your application uh, and or they can decline your uh, job offer so if they approve that's well and good you move on to the next stage is by applying PR and the work permit which we will talk later in the uh, video if they put it on hold that means your file goes back to the pool for up to six months so they will do the again the assessment criteria based on their uh, point requirement they will do the criteria and make sure they will might give you a job offer like the recommendations within the next six months if you don't get anything any answers for the next six months that means you need to go back to your employer and ask for the another job offer uh, which you did the previously so so as we talked earlier that if you get approved what happens now so once you get approval uh, then the economic development office uh, which is the uh, authorized uh, office to give you recommendations they will issue a letter uh, federally so that later the recommendation later which can help you to apply for the permanent residency so you need that later in order to apply for the permanent residency and you you have only six months from the date you get your recommendations from the uh, Brandon community so you need to apply for the permanent res residency during that time so now you have the recommendation from the community and now what you need to do is to apply for the permanent residence application uh, to the IRCC uh, you need to make sure you uh, give all the documentations with your applications otherwise it will be returned or they will ask for the more documentations to make sure that your application is complete so that might get delay your application so make sure you uh, provide all the information required to apply for the permanent residency so once they receive the applications if it's complete uh, now you can apply for the work permit so that means like you go for as a normal work permit because you have the recommendation letters and the ISSC has received your applications so because they need a worker uh, in rural community you can apply for the work permit uh, as a normal channel and then once you receive your work permit you can move to the Brandon community and wo start work over there and wait for your permanent residency so that means you can come in come to Canada before you get your PR and work uh, and wait for your PR to get approval now your hard work paid off now your permanent residence of Canada you move to the Brandon either on work permit or directly as a permanent residence uh, once you are in Brandon as a permanent residence your employer will connect you to the services offered by the community and you can establish your family here now let's see how much time and what will be the time durations for you from step one that's uh, creating in the profile and up to you can get the PR so now let's check that time duration so you can see here it only takes 45 days for Brandon to approve or decline your applications uh, once they approve your applications within the 90 days you will have the confirmation from the IRCC once you submit the application to the IRCC that they have received once they receive the applications you can apply for the work permit and once you get the work permit within the 60 days you can move to Brandon and start working and wait for your applications to get approved for the PR so the total duration is about 12 months but if you act faster and submit the documents in a timely manner then you will get this PR under the 12 months that's everything for the Brandon uh, Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program if you have any questions or concern please comment so I can provide you the answer which you are looking for Please don't forget to subscribe my channels and share this video to your friends. Thanks.